Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction. And if you are a contractor and you want to make more money and you want to sell more projects, I'm going to give you the simple rules of selling construction. There's really three of them. Like it's, it's very, very, very simple to sell a lot of construction and sell it at margins where you're actually making money and you're not living hand to mouth, which means it comes into the hand and it goes into your mouth, like paycheck to paycheck, so to speak. That's not a way to live as a contractor. Realize, let, let me talk about this for a second and then I'll get into the actual rules. But realize that as a contractor, you are providing a vital service. If you're not keeping people's homes well kept and building new homes and adding on to homes, people don't have homes to live in. People don't have beds to sleep in. They can't go to work and produce the things that they have to produce. So realize that even if, you know, there's this, this kind of popular thing now uh, where people be like, oh, he's just a contractor. Oh, you're just a, a construction guy. Like, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Like, it can be seen as kind of a, a degraded thing to some extent, and I completely disagree with that. I don't accept that at all, and I hope you don't either. And the reason that's important is the value of what you're providing is actually very, very high. So realize that a lot of people think of construction as something they could do themselves, but you and I know that that's not necessarily always the case. In some cases it is. I mean, a person can paint walls, but if you're a painter, you know, there's a difference between when the homeowner paints a wall and when you paint a wall. Is the line between the wall and the ceiling crisp and straight? You know, did they paint on the, on the electrical outlets or did they tape over them and make sure that they're perfectly clean and white as, as the day you walked in there, you know? Uh, did they, did they tape the doorknob or take the doorknob off to paint the doors there? You know, there's all these little things that separates a professional from an amateur. So anyways, the point is what you're doing is valuable. And so you need to be able to command a correct price, not a high price, a correct price for what you're doing. And by the way, if you're doing general contract work where you're managing multiple trades, 20% ain't cutting it, man. Like nobody who's actually surviving and thriving in construction is doing 20%. So get that crazy 20% madness just out of your mind. Just drop that entirely. Think with 40%, okay? To be realistic, like that's what most contractors charge is 40% more than whatever it costs them to do it. So that said, let's talk about how you actually get to having jobs that are sold at a correct price that you can actually live off of you know, send your kids to college, live a good life. So rule number one, this is the most important rule in selling construction and it is always agree, always agree. Now notice, I didn't say the client is always right. They're not, they're rarely right, but you still have to agree. Now, an example of this would be, you know, I think that, uh, I think I wanna do custom cabinets in my kitchen. Don't disagree with the lady who wants to do custom cabinets, even if you know she only has a 40K budget and if she does custom cabinets, the cabinets are gonna cost 40. Don't disagree with her, agree. You can say, you know, ma'am, Miss, Miss Smith, I totally agree with you. I love custom cabinets. I think they're freaking amazing. Did you know that uh, the cost of custom cabinets for a kitchen like this is gonna be about your entire budget for the cabinet material? Are you aware of that? And then let her realize that, you know, maybe she doesn't want custom cabinets because of the price and, or maybe because you agreed with her and you actually got on the same page and you're on the same team and trying to help her to get what she wants in the budget that she has. Maybe she'll actually say, wow, this guy's great. Maybe I do want to spend more on my cabinets to get the custom cabinets. And I mean, he seems to be very confident in that custom cabinets are good. Maybe he's the guy. It gets you on the same team. Realize that to sell someone something is to help them get what they want. Like selling is the act of handing over something valuable in exchange for some type of support. You know, selling could be in, in terms of money or in terms of, uh, you know, support like physical labor, whatever. Selling is life. Like anything that you're getting, you're exchanging is sales. And if you're giving someone something, selling them something, you're helping them to get what they want. So that is a valuable thing. It's a very different idea from like, selling isn't shoving some, something down someone's throat in exchange for money. It's helping them get something they want and they're exchanging with you for it. You can only help someone if they know that you're on the same team as them. Agreeing gets you on the same team. Even if they're saying, you give them the price, right? They wanna do, <clears throat> um, they wanna expand this side of their kitchen, add on 100 square feet to their home and then renovate the whole kitchen. And you come in and you're like, so, Mr. Jones, this is gonna be between 110 and 
if that budget is good with you, then I'll go ahead and nail down some actual numbers, but realize that that's what it's gonna be. Can you do something like that? And he says, that is outrageous. That is way too expensive. And you say, Mr. Jones, I agree with you. You're right, that is outrageously expensive. And do you know the only thing that's more expensive than that, Mr. Jones? And it'll be like, what? I can't, what, just doing the whole freaking house? And you're like, yes, that would be more expensive. But what I was thinking of is paying someone $70,000 to do this job, them effing it up, and then you having to pay twice to get it done at another $70,000, assuming you could find someone at the same price. That's 140K, which is way too much for this project. So my suggestion is let's do it at the 110K and prevent you from all that hassle of having to do it twice. How's that sound? <clears throat> that re started with agreement and then got on the same page and then went into what I'd like them to do, which is hire us to do it because I know we're gonna do it right the first time. So that transition has to start with an agreement. If you start with a disagreement, you cut it, you cut it right away. Like there's no point in disagreeing. Let go of this incessant need to be right. This, I see a lot of contractors break this rule. They're like, no, you have to do blah. Like, stop with the disagreement. You don't always need to be right. Allow the other person to be right, be right with them, and then move them to see your side of the story, okay? So that's number one, is always agree. Number two, I kind of did it in that example, but number two, always, always, always give prices on the first appointment, always. I know this is probably contrary to what your dad told you, but look, your dad didn't run a $10 million construction business, okay? You have to give prices on the first visit. You must, you must, you must. The reason you have to do that is that if you're not giving prices on the first visit, you are wasting your time and you're wasting the client's time, which is way more important, okay? You have to be giving prices right when you meet the person. What we do at Home Love Construction is what we call an instant estimate, okay? It's not a quote, it's not a hard and fast thing, but we give them numbers right there on the spot. We sit down at the kitchen table, we have a formula card, and we have a sheet where we write out, okay, this is gonna be this much, this is gonna be this much, blah, blah, blah. and then we go and add it all up, and we say, hey, the range for your addition for adding onto this home is between 145 dollars and $173,000. And then we let them tell us what they think about that price. Some people say, that's great, when can we start? Some people say, oh man, that's a lot more than I was thinking. We, how, can we, how can we look at this? I really only have 120 to spend. You know, and some people are like, well, thank you for your time. I'll see you later. And you know not to spend any more time on them. The biggest ruin of contractors, something that just ruins their, uh, their productivity, right? Like just really cuts it and, and lets them not get as much done as they need to to really thrive is that they spend too much time doing quotes. Think about it. If you're a contractor, what do you spend most of your catch up time doing? You get caught up on quotes. But what if you sat down and spent a little more time with each client, gave them numbers right there and got whether they were serious or not, you wouldn't send a quote and never hear back. <laughs> when I used to do that back in 2017, when I would send a quote and never hear back, I'd be like, man, I know I'm doing something wrong here. Then when I started giving people prices in writing, by the way, people believe what they see, not what they hear. That could be rule, rule 2A is write, put it in writing. People believe what they see, not what they hear. Great rule. Uh, when I started doing that, my closing ratio on the quotes that I actually took time to put together and send out went up to like 70 or 80% because the people who I was spending the time on were pre-qualified with the numbers I already gave them. You must do this. If you can't figure out how to do it, you gotta figure out how to do it. I can teach you how to do this. If you need help with this, uh, just send us an email at the about page and I'd be happy to do that. Or you can just send an email to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com. Just put something in the subject line, like teach me how to sell or something like that. I can happily help you with this. We actually have courses on this that I created to teach you how to do this, okay? You could also become, become a Home Love Construction franchisee. That would help as well. Send, if you're interested in that, send the same thing to the email. Now, that's number two is give them prices right there. Number three, and this is important, don't do the, uh, don't kill yourself via email, okay? And what I mean by that is, if you're going to email someone a final quote, even if you've already pre-qualified them, do not, don't you dare, don't send that email until you have the mf -er on the phone. Get them on the phone first. See, get them on a call, be like, hey, I know you've been waiting on that quote. I'm about to send it to you right now. Are you in front of a computer? Or like, hey, are you in front of a computer? And they're like, no, but I can't be. And you're like, okay, go get there. And then you let them get there. And you say, okay, I'm sending the quote, boom, send. And then they get it and they're like, this is 20,000 more, 20, more than we talked about. And you're like, I understand. 
what I did is I added in the blah and blah and blah that you said that you wanted. And so this is the price including those features. Do you still want to do those features? And then you can actually get into the conversation right there and have them actually tell you what the real deal is right then on the phone. They will appreciate it a lot more versus just a quote with a high number that then they look at the number and like, oh, I can't do it. They delete the email and you never hear from them again. That, even, that will even happen with the qualified people. So again, the rules are always agree. Send or give them prices right when you see them. 2A is put the prices in writing. Don't do it just verbally. If you do it verbally, it's better than nothing, but also put them in writing. People believe what they see, not what they hear. And then when you're gonna send the quote via email, because we all do it now, don't just send the email. Get them on the phone and then send the email. And then number four would just be follow up. Like if you want someone's business, like if you see a project and you're like, man, I want that project, call the person 10 more times. Like I've never been mad when someone who I want something from calls me. Like these people want something from you, call them. Don't be afraid to call them, you're not a nuisance. You're the guy who's gonna get their project done. Like what's, what's bothersome about that? They should want to hear from you. They know that you're serious about, your, about their project that way. So number four would be follow up, that's your bonus. So if you want more training on this and you want me to actually sit down with you and handle your actual problems with this, I do do this. Uh, you, can go, you can send an email to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com with a, the subject line sales training and we'll set something up. We can do it via Zoom. You don't have to be in Florida, but if you are in Florida, you can actually come to my office and sit down with me and we can go through this. Same cost either way. Uh, obviously, the, you have to come to me if you're here locally or we can do it remotely via Zoom training, stuff like that. But we've got a huge packet that we go through on stuff like this and it's, it's massively useful. Now, if you are interested in actually working with Home Love Construction, you can, you can uh, send us an email to the same email saying, hey, I wanna work for you guys. Or if you're just interested in, in seeing what we have available, you don't have to come work for us to work with us. We actually have franchises, affiliates, and partner programs, all three of those, that you can become involved in. If you're interested in those, go to homelove.construction slash franchise, and you can fill out a contact form and our franchise officer will come and, and talk to you and you know, explain to you what that's all about. It's a pretty amazing program and you get all of this training as a part of that. So. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching this vid. I hope this brought you some value. If it did, hit the subscribe button because you know I'm doing this to help you as a contractor to be more successful. I need to know that it's working. I know that if you hit the subscribe button below. So do that and I'll see you in the next vid. Thanks for watching.